What is going on guys and girls, my name is Vangels and today we've got for you an Irish squad builder. So if you're from Ireland, remember to leave a comment down below, let me know that you are from Ireland. I want to see how many Irish people we can get watching this video. So this is a relatively cheap squad builder, it's got around about... I think it's around about 20,000 coins at a maximum. In goal we've gone for Shea Given. A lot of these players are going to be pretty much, you know, bog standard, 350, 400 buys. Because for some reason the gold Irish players don't go for a lot of money. Shea Given this year, 76 gold, which is good. We still want to see him as a gold. I think he's knocking on a bit now. He's been around for as long as I can remember. But on the game he was a pretty solid goalkeeper. Uh, I don't think I could have got a better Irish goalkeeper. Centre backs, we decided to go for John O'Shea. He plays for Sunderland, played five games with him, played five games with his entire team. It was one of these teams where you just cheered so much when you scored a goal. I was so, so happy every single time I got one. Uh, but John O'Shea was actually quite good despite only having 52 pace. He made up for it with his strength. We've got Keo. I was a little bit naughty and I got a red card in the last game with him. I was getting wound up. Uh, I don't even think it was a bad tackle to be honest with you. I just must have gone into the back of him or something. I thought I got the ball, but um, he's got me medium media work rates and for a silver player he's pretty damn good he is one of the players that you want to be investing in when St. Patrick's Day comes around because he's got 70 pace, 71 defending, 73 heading he's probably the best Irish centre back on the game that I know of just because of his pace um, and his decent strength and decent defending and heading he's going to be the guy that everybody wants playing centre back when the St. Patrick Cup comes around so you want to have to invest in him we've gone for O'Brien on the left hand side there were some faster ones but he was the top rated by I think I think it was 5 overall I can't remember 100% but I think he was probably the best left back on the game plays for West Ham so we've got another BPL Irish player despite his pace again I didn't see that much of that much of a problem with him he was actually quite a decent left back pretty solid I really did enjoy using this team I wasn't expecting them to be good but there was actually fairly decent uh, we've got Coleman right back still only a silver I think that's maybe a little bit harsh because he puts in a good shift for Everton every single game he plays uh, he gets a lot of assists for them, he does pretty well defensively as well, so maybe he'll up get upgraded to a gold next year if he has a good season. Speaking of Everton golds, we have got Darren Gibson at a defensive mid. I haven't changed his card from a centre defensive to a, from a CM to a CDM. I didn't see the point, I couldn't find one on the market that was fairly cheap, so I just thought I'll stick him in there anyway. He gets 9 chem anyway, I think, so... Uh, yeah, 350 coins, and that one goal I scored of him was an absolute cracker. It was from miles away. It was so, so good. Medium, medium work rates, so he makes for a pretty solid set defensive mid. He doesn't wander off too much. We're going to go to the right-hand side now. We'll go, we've got McGeady there. I think he was a little bit more than the 79 last season. He still maintained his 5-star uh, five five-star skill moves and 4-star weak foot, though. We've got 5 games played with him, we've got one goal and we've got two assists. I was hoping to score more goals with him. I went on a few skill move runs with him, but at the last moment I would never be able to beat a defender. It's like in my head I built it up so that I just could not beat the last man. It was so frustrating. We've got Pilkington on the left hand side. I was going to go for Brady. Uh, Brady plays for Hull in the Premier League. He's been playing really well this season. He's got a couple of penalties to his name and I think he scored a goal from open play. Correct me if I'm wrong, but he's he's been having a good season so far. But I decided to go for Pilkington instead because I compared the Marlon Foothead and I saw that Pilkington's overall stats were better than the other ones so he was a little bit stronger, a little bit better at shooting so I decided to go for him and he was actually pretty decent. We've got another Norwich player now, Houlihan. Um, four assists in five games, that's pretty damn good I think. He also got himself a goal. Left footed, high low work rate so he makes for a perfect attacking player and he has also got four star skill moves so Again, another skill of fear to use, guys. We've got McGeady on the right-hand side, and we've got Houlihan, four-star. The strikers, I was expecting Keane to be not as good as he was. For some reason, I wasn't anticipating him to be that good on the game, but he was actually really quite good. I got three goals in five games with him. I also got two assists. This is why I wasn't a massive fan of him, because he had high, high work rates. He kept coming back to get the ball. Sometimes it works in your advantage, because sometimes you can have a long shot. But other times he can kind of just get lost further on down the pitch. And Houlihan having a high work weight go work rate going forwards but a low defensively, you sometimes find them swapping positions. So Houlihan will bomb up the pitch and um, Keane will come back and it's it's quite annoying sometimes. Same goes for Long as well. They've both got high, high work rates. So the, the strikers are always knackered but they always seem to score. I got three goals of him as well and I got an assist with him. Overall, it's a really fun team to play with. It's, it's a cheap team and... 
you really find yourself egging them on. It's really fun. I, if, if you have enjoyed this video, guys, please remember to like, comment, and as always, subscribe. Chick in the club, and I never call a woman no bitch. But the situation is, it 